What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Crip no FUD. Let's jump right into this one. All right, so we got an update. Big, big update. So, obviously, we've all been monitoring this market. We've been monitoring, monitoring Volt. Let's see what's going on here. Is it coincidental or not that we literally bounced off this fib line right here? Perfectly at the 0.5, same exact, I mean, look at this. This was, if you guys, I know you guys have been watching the videos and this has been for the last few weeks. We made this channel. We marked this spot right here that I said was going to be your ultimate support that we definitely did not want to break and that we most likely were going to bounce off of. And obviously I'm not giving out financial advice. I'm just giving my opinion. And I said, this would be a solid spot to possibly jump into the project or add to your bag. And lo and behold, look what we did. We bounced exactly off of that mark. I mean, it was like a little bit under the fib line. Looks like we bounced at around four, I mean, 12, four, 12, five area, but that's pretty much where we bounced before. We went a little bit under the 0.5 right here at about 12, four. And it looked like, I mean, just almost the same exact thing. If I move this, it was a little bit of a, um, a W pattern, which we guys, you guys already know if you're following the channel, whenever we see W patterns, and I'm not talking about like, if you look right here, these were W patterns, but these weren't solid W patterns. It was like a, like three W's at once. If it does this nice dip, does like a little, uh, almost like it jumps up and then bounces right back down to where it was. And then it takes off. That's a nice W pattern. And a lot of times those will lead to an upward uh, trajectory. Now, we are testing or about to be approaching that 382 fib line at where we're currently at around 138. Again, remember the I think it was the last video, you know, we had just broke this and I didn't know exactly where we we're going to go, but I told you guys where I I wanted to see this thing bounce and that's where it did. And then I was basically saying we want to bounce and we hopefully, you know, you guys the sellers are excuse me, the buyers come in and they basically will give us some support. And we'll get back up towards that 14 mark. And that's exactly what it looks like we want to get to. Now, I will say this market is so just, it is it is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We've been going through this for the last week. You know, it's all part of the territory. I keep telling you guys, you know, especially with like a project like this, Volt. You guys know at the end of the day. In a year, two from now, we're going to see somewhere. We might be down a year from now from where we're at, but I, I think that maybe from a year or two from now, we're going to see something, a crazy melt-your-face kind of moment where this thing is going to get to some crazy all-time highs. And I think that's what we're all waiting for, right? You know, We're in this for the long run. This isn't like a buy-in and you know, two weeks later, we're looking for our, you know, a crazy return. It'd be nice if that happened, but at the same time, you know, you got to be patient, especially with crypto. So what I'm getting to is this is a long-term play. And I, I see, you know, in the long term, this thing really doing some good numbers. So whenever you see opportunities like this, this, and even this, where everybody was terrified and, you know, people didn't know what was going on. This was, you know, hindsight 2020, obviously, right? But when people are scared, that's when you need to uh, put all the FUD to the side. And that's when you possibly need to be looking at if, if this is going to be a good buy. Because when people are scared and they're selling off, the people that are buying in, and I don't mean just like a, a 5% drop. I mean when it's down 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70%. When the, the people that are buying off in the long run, they're usually the ones that are going to be selling whenever when that thing's starting to shoot back up. And it's getting up to those all-time highs. And that's when you see all the sell-offs. Those are the people that bought in when everybody was terrified. So with that being said, we're sitting at around 13.8. We are, it looks like, like we just a minute ago, we were at 13.9. It, it looks like it just wants to get that, that, um, to that fib line, which is technically 13.95. I do see this is going to be some resistance. Remember, a lot of support. Once you break that support, eventually, whenever we come back, it's gonna be it's gonna flip into some resistance. So we're gonna probably need to test this a couple times. Never know. We might see a, a um, you know a, a nice day today. Bitcoin is up twenty two thousand four hundred. So we'll see how it goes. But just the fact that it bounced off this fib line right here, 
and you know we were approaching back to where we were just a few days ago is a good thing it shows you the support that's in this project and i hope you guys see the long term as far as this project again not financial advice but we're going to leave it there just want to leave you guys with some quick updates on volt again if we do you know get past this fib line right here we're probably going to be looking at you know the where these three spots right here are obviously going to be some resistance and that's going to be around the 14.5 we'll just call it even and around the 14.5 is going to be some major major resistance we're going to need to test that a few times before we break it and then we'll talk about what we might be doing getting up to that next fib line if we do get rejected at the 3a2 prepare to maybe see another drop back down to the 0.5 now i do want to just before we end this i want to let you guys know we do not want to keep testing this 0.5 mark if we keep testing this 0.5 that's when we're gonna to have to start talking about you know some things we don't want to talk about it breaking this and possibly you know we're gonna to have to find some other spots where we see some resistance and basically where my line is right now that's going to be your uh i'm sorry support that's going to be your uh, next spot of some support around 11.2. And I go back because of this spot over here was major resistance. Uh, uh, this was you know a while back, the end of last year. This is around the 11.2 mark. That's probably what you're looking at in between these two fibs. And then obviously the 6.18 would be probably around the 6.18 to 11.2 would be your uh, spot for some support. So but hopefully we don't even talk about those numbers and you know we can get back on track and um, – get to these new all-time highs or local all-time highs. But we'll leave it there, guys. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel so you guys can get these instant alerts whenever I am posting videos. I'm going to come out with them every day whenever we need to, if it's multiple times a day, if anything crazy is going on, just to keep you guys in the, the know. So other than that, thank you again. Have a great day.